Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawe, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? Thank you for coming back for part three of our reaction to Bull Balaya. This is the original with Akshay Kumar and Vijay Balan, directed by Priya Darshan. Since you're watching this on YouTube, you will see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. However, if you want to watch the whole movie with us, uncut, uninterrupted, not broken up into parts, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Jabby Kawe. We can watch the whole movie with us, but you will need your own copy of the film so you can open it up in an adjacent window to our reaction. And it's like you're watching with two of your favorite pals from the internet. Let's jump right back into this. Here we go. So this had nothing to do with that room. This was... At least as far as Akshay Kumar is concerned. Concern, yeah. It's all a projection. That he believes it's like based off of her trauma from her childhood. Damn. <laughs> Copy crazy. Yes. I mean, dissociative identity disorder is really, really interesting because each alter is very, very different. And a lot of the times it can even be stuff that the, you know, the original person doesn't even know. <laughs> The precision. Wow. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Bad Maish. I'm not your gala kitty. Can you imagine that someone like you married? Yeah. That's what it's like for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> like you married an angel and she turned into this demon. Copy killer, copy gum. You're up, buddy. How are they going to do this? GTFO, dude. That was some uh, clever mechanics. Yeah. जाने से पहले वो भी निपटाना पड़ेगा. क्या? Hey, personal काम. What? Oh. राधा दुनिया जानती है कि पागलों के साथ रहना मुश्किल है. लेकिन पागलों को इलाज करने वालों के साथ रहना। Oh wow! I knew that they would get together। अगर तुम्हारी आगे हो तो अपने मम्मी पापा को तुम्हारे पास भेजूं। माफ करना हमने आपको बहुत गलत समझा। अरे नहीं 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 ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है। आपने तो ऐसा कमाल किया जैसे एक टिकिया पे दो कंजी फ्री आए थे महल का भूत बगाने, लेकिन एक नहीं दो दो जिंदगियां बचाई। I knew she would talk again after the whole day। एक हाथ से ने तुम्हें बिगाड़ा था, दूसरे हाथ से ने ठीक कर दिया। और वक्त सही हो तो सब कुछ ठीक हो जाता है। मैंने कुछ नहीं किया। This guy? What about that guy? मैंने यहाँ किसी से कुछ पूछा है। अगर उसकी हाँ हो, तो आप मना मत कीजिएगा। बस आशीर्वाद दे दीजिएगा। अच्छा जी, मैं चलता हूँ। जय राम जी की। Oh wow, just right there, huh? Oh. What? <laughs> All this fine shorty, and it ain't like I. All right. 
<laughs> the rap version. That was not the song that I was expecting. And this was also not the movie that I was expecting, actually. I mean, I saw people in the comments were saying, oh, it's more, it's not really a horror. It's more of like a psychological thriller. And after watching this, I'm like, I get it now. It's definitely psychological. Yes. I wouldn't say it's a thriller. <laughs> There was, a, yeah, maybe there were not fleeting moments me, yeah, little, of thrill. Little, copy little moments. thrill, co copy, copy no, no thrill. <laughs> thrill. <laughs> yeah. No. It, was a, it was a thrill on occasion. Uh, I enjoyed looking at Vigibalan. I don't know when exactly it happened, but there was this point where the movie just slowed way down. And I'm like, whoa, like we're really going slow. And then it got even slower once it was revealed that Vigibalan was the. Copy crazy. There was just a lot of a lot of blaming. exposition. There's a lot of exposition, just like a litany of exposition. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree with you. I I did feel it slow down as well, and it it got a little bit just like long in the tooth, verbose around the middle, verbosey exposition. I'm like, <laughs> but Whoa. you know, I was trying to justify it in my mind as it was happening. I'm like, okay, maybe we need all of this, but I'm also like, what it felt like for me was like. Yo, I get it. Can we get to the next scene already? He kept saying the same thing over and over again. And then he had the priest come in. I'm like, whoa, like this is really slowing down a well, lot. It's an elaborate ruse, right? Like, because in order to fix her, they have to trick the the part of her that believes she's Manjalika. I'm fine and with all of that. It's not the goal that I took issue with. It's just like... By the time we got to the the ultimate scene of the, or the penultimate scene, as it were, of the movie, I was just like, "Yo, is this is this still going?" Like, I like it started to take its toll on my patience. And maybe it's not the movie's fault. Maybe it's because I have been up since 6 a.m. with very little sleep, and it's like late right now. That might be the problem. <laughs> but like, I was even feeling this in the first portion of the movie at a certain point as well like i was getting excited and whatnot and i was just sort of like okay when's actually kumar gonna show up right and it took an hour for him to show up and then he takes over the movie from there <laughs> and his character is very curious very interesting i like the whole sherlock holmes angle where he's like investigating her her town and whatever you don't really know what's going on because it's all yeah. baked into a music video and so you're not exactly clear about the ongoings of that situation other than he's doing something and you got a cool song to go with it not only him but the film kind of leads you to believe that it's that one broad he ends up falling for that he ends up uh saying, rada. rada yeah like you you think it's her that was a, a nice little misdirect because honestly i couldn't remember that it was vigi balan in the music video I completely forgot about that. Oh, really? Yeah. And okay. so, oh, well, then you knew the plot twist the whole time. Yeah. I, for, I forgot it was her. Because I was, like, waiting for, like, this ghost to show up. Because like, I knew there was, like, this other supernatural ghostly element later on in the film. And so I'm like, when is this scene going to well, happen? Well, I just thought it was that she was possessed. But what I really enjoyed about the film was the, the whole premise of the story. Because maybe I'm able to relate to this a little bit more just because of... You're crazy. Because I am, uh, you know, a, a, a bagel larky. Kabi, kabi bagel. Um, kabi bagel, yes. Huh? Kabi chacha. <laughs> kabi chacha, yes. Because of having grown up in Asia, in Thailand and stuff, there there is still this kind of belief in ghosts and spirits and stuff. And even, and even though people might still be modern, mm -hmm. there is still this strong belief in like the reality of possession and these things happening. Speaking of possession, you're like, I just realized how much you're like possessing my space. Can you scoot oh, over? Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me just, just stop possessing that. Let me get off that thing. Let me just get off that thing right now. Watching this, I'm like, oh yeah, I can totally see how this would have played out in a village or something where people would have called the the local priest or if, if he couldn't do it, then they would have found someone else who, who was more powerful or someone to, you know, get a handle on this spirit and to exercise her or to trap her like how they had in the beginning like mm -hmm. what they believed they had done and i thought this was really cool because they started out with that kind of you know like country folk belief but then brought in the modern element with akshay kumar's character and then he applied modern science and psychology and diagnosed a personality disorder. Yeah. No, I thought that was which cool. Which is really cool. I Again, I don't mind the concept. I think that's cool. 
Like, it subverts your expectations because it's setting you up for the supernatural element, which you're fully expecting, and then come to find out, yeah. oh, it's like she's just got a multiple personality disorder or something. Dissociative Dis identity disorder is what they call it now. Yes. So, whatever the case is, like, that's cool by me. It's just that it took such a while to get to the point that I was just sort of winded by the time we got there. Yeah. Um, there was some interesting drama along the way here and there, and there were some interesting shenanigans that were going on here and there. But I think it was in that last 40 minutes or that last 30 minutes leading up to the reveal that Vigil Balan is the crazy one. It was like, oh man, whoa. And then after finding out, like the priest shows up and it's like, okay, I know that you've got this whole ruse to do uh, in order to like unpossess her. But goddamn, like there was just, a lot of that talking. I'm so sorry. Like, there was just so much talking. It's like so much of Akshay Kumar in the, and I like Akshay Kumar, but there was so much Akshay Kumar in that same almost monotone sort of explanation diatribe of information over and over and over and over again. I'm like, man, this scene is still going. Like, you know, it was just a lot. I liked it more before I found out what happened. Of course, the scene where the, with all the dancing and stuff was super cool. N near the end of the film, when, when, we're seeing what she's seeing. That scene is incredible. And yeah. I, I thought that, I mean, I don't really know all that much about classical Indian dancing, but just as a lay person watching that, I thought that they were extremely skilled. They danced beautifully, both yeah. of them. And it was just mesmerizing to watch. And I've always enjoyed the song. I, you know, just the vocals, the music. Yeah, it's really nice. It's so lovely, yeah. How did they come up with that contraption in the span of six hours or something? They put the body on the thing and then slides it and it stops at the perfect spot to, in order to do this magician rotation. I was like, where'd they get that dummy? Magic. And they layered it with a bunch of like apple, not apple juice, but like tomato juice or something. <laughs> like, whoa, like this was quite elaborate. It felt very much like Sherlock Holmes in that Sherlock Holmes, in my understanding, is like he's so way ahead of the everybody else that you wouldn't be able to keep up with it. And so right. when you see the revelation of how all this comes together, like, oh, yeah, there's no way I would have seen that coming. But Sherlock, 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 he, of course, was able to plan this all out and execute it masterfully. Akshay Kumar's character was definitely different. He was. It was hard for me to kind of get on board with him in the beginning because he was a little bit of a dick <laughs> and i'm just like what why is he you well, know that never stopped really but he was just yeah. a sensible he yeah. was the only sensible individual in the whole bunch exactly like he, he was playful he was cheeky yeah. he was a little bit rude all the while still kind of being charming and then when when you understand that he is genuinely trying to help this woman you're like or at least I was like, oh, okay, you're you're not too bad. You're okay. I like you more now. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, he saves the day at the end. And, it, you know, it just makes me think about all those instances in the past or, you know, before we had modern science and psychology and stuff. Like how many people would have just been, you know, called crazy or possessed by ghosts or whatever when really they they were just mentally ill and they needed help. I do like that aspect of things. And, I, I you know, it, Akshay Kumar has done this before. There's a few Indian films that we've seen so far that sort of go into this sort of thing, which is like you have PK and Oh My God and this. And I think Oh My God really dived into it as well. Oh, you didn't watch that. That was no, me and Sintel. No, you and Sintel, yeah. Okay. So in, in that film, there's like this whole aspect of the movie, if I recall correctly, because I might be mixing it up with PK a little bit, where it's talking about the sacrifices people make for religion. It's like, all I'm trying to say is that Akshay Kumar does like to explore these kinds of stories that sure. are supposed to enlighten you a little bit. And I and I do appreciate that. I mean, we saw Padman and uh, I know he did Ek Toilet or something. Yeah. Um, you know, he does a number of these films that kind of elucidate, you know, something that we should consider more and, and ponder and, you know, pontificate on and whatnot. I, I do appreciate that aspect of the film. Like, it is fascinating to think about how years ago, you know, many years ago, they would just burn you. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, well, something's obviously wrong here. We're just going to kill you. That's or just the, lock you up in a room well, and, sure. and just never let you out. Yeah. You know, because you're possessed, you're evil or something. And it's just like, no, she just has PTSD or, you know, whatever. Correct. Yeah. I didn't love this movie. That's just the where I'm gonna like. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like I would not go back to revisit this film. I like a lot of the ideas in it, and I like the 
goals. It's just that all, the execution, all, after it was all said and done, I'm just like, at a certain point, I just kind of stopped caring. That's the honest truth. I wasn't like feeling engaged as much. Like, you know what I mean? Earlier today, I watched Gunga by Kali Adam, right? And you, you, you probably will have seen the review for that already if you're watching all the stuff on the channel by the time you see this, uh, assuming you're still watching this review and didn't just opt out because you're annoyed with Javi Kawai. But in that film, like the first hour and a half, like, or the, the first half, I should say, I really, really liked it. And the second half, I didn't like as much, but I was still engaged to the story. It was still like, okay, I'm still curious enough as to where this is going. Whereas with this, like, I could have turned it off and never came back. Like, there was a certain point where I was just like, I could just shut this off right now and be okay. And I'm mm -hmm. not curious enough to keep going. That's where I found it was just troubling for me. And I don't know what exactly it was about, like, if it was the momentum or too many songs or not feeling engaged enough with the songs, except for that last one with Vidya Balan dancing. Like, I don't know what it was, but there was somewhere along the way where I just felt a disconnect and I'm just like, I'm not engaged with this movie as much, as much as I want to be. Like, I'm trying so hard to stay involved in this story. And I realized that maybe I just don't care enough about the characters in this movie. And, you know, the, the one character who I was hooked into kind of took a back seat in order to have this whole misdirect, which is Vidya Balan. She was really the only character in the film where I was like, oh, I'm like intrigued with her. Yeah. But then, but then she, kept, she was doing this thing which is justified, where she kept going in that room and messing with shit. And I'm just like, what is wrong with this hoe? And so <laughs> then they just took her out of the movie and focused on this misdirection, which I'm like, okay. But as much as I, uh, I appreciate Akshay Kumar as an actor and his charisma, like there wasn't enough with him where I was just like, I am on board for this character. It was just sort of this circus show that was happening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, well, I do know what you mean. I didn't connect with the feelings of the, when when Vidya Balan took a back seat in the show. I just stopped having a connection to the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, she was probably the most, if not one of the most interesting characters in the movie. Yeah. And then they just, yeah, you're right. They did sideline her for a while in favor of Akshay Kumar's character and, and that aspect of it. And like, I enjoyed a lot of things about this film. Yeah. Um, and most of all, just the concept behind it of, you know, it's not ghosts, it's mental health. Yeah. I do kind of wish that there was a little bit more of a supernatural element to it like maybe at the end there's like a little wink wink nudge yeah. nudge of like no but it really was supernatural no, a spinning all along, top. Or, or something yeah. you know like it was it really was she really possessed did, you, they, did they like trick the ghost into leaving her or, yeah. or something you wanted a spinning top moment I yeah no. i did i did i really i really did want that but you know without that that's fine just making it a straight like no there was no ghost it was just all in her mind and it's shutter island I don't remember that movie very well. Well, I don't know what came first, whether it was this or Shutter Island, but it's basically Shutter Island. Shutter Island's a film about Leonardo DiCaprio who is uh, investigating some kind of a, if I'm not mistaken, he's either trying to uncover a murder or he's trying to uncover the murder of his wife. It's something like that. And then come to find out he's inside of an insane, insane oh, asylum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so and there's no ghostly element. There's no like mystery. It's just it's all happening. It's all playing out in his head. And his, his psychologist or therapist or whatever in the psych ward has just been like kind of guiding him along in an effort to help cure him. Kind of like what uh, Akshay Kumar did here. Okay. Of, of helping to cure her. Now I'm damn curious and I want to see. It was 2010. When was this? 2003, I think. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So this came first. Yeah. This movie's pretty old, I think. 2007. 2007. So it was Sorry, just before Shutter bad. Island. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Oh, Shutter Island is based on a 2003 novel. But the chances that the filmmakers of Volbulia saw that novel are, are, are probably quite small. So I don't think there's any relation. It's just, a, it's just a coincidence that the stories are similar. Yeah, my connection to the concept is Shutter Island. And I, like I said, I think that concept is cool. I didn't feel the execution as much. Like I either I needed Akshay Kumar to be introduced sooner and for him to have more, um, I don't know. I'm sure that for the target audience, he's like, he's a, he's such a likable character. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, when he shows up, it's just like, oh, it's Banana Town. It's, it's awesome. It's fun and games. Yeah, I, I mean, it was definitely a lot of fun yeah. when he showed up. But it did feel like 
knowing that he's in this film, I was kind of like, when's he coming though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When's he coming? Yeah. Yeah, it took um, a while. I, I kind of wish he showed up sooner and if there was a better integration with him and Vidya Balan, perhaps, rather than just taking her out of the movie. But like, yeah, anyway. I, I could keep going. Well, on, I but. wonder. I wonder as well if maybe it's because there were so many characters too that it was kind of hard to really connect. But I will say that I thought Vidya Balan's acting in this was really, really good. Yeah. Like yeah, I agree. she she nailed it. You know when she was being innocent, and then when she was like full on crazy when. There was that bit where, what is it, like she sees the king or whatever, mm. and then she's like looking all crazy and scary, and she's being threatening, and then she's crying at the same time. I was just like, whoa. Yeah, no, she did a great job. The performance. I thought she did a really good job. I'm, yeah. I mean, that, I'm not taking that away from this, you know, copy, mo copy boggle. So she, <laughs> she, she did a really, really good job. I don't want to come back to this store. Like, I, if, if people ask us to, I don't know, maybe the um, other iterations that came before this are more i would Grounded. find more engaging i don't yeah. know like maybe i'll like those more but as it is like this iteration i'm like i'm good on that like that yeah, was yeah i wonder you know, how the original malayalam version of this film compares i'm sure that a Mali malayalis would be like it's the best this is nothing compared i'm sure like whatever the original country or country excuse me the original uh, area film region like i'm sure they're going to be biased towards their version sure just like anyone who's read a book and then watches the movie of that book they're always this it's always this oh the book was better like it's always that attitude sure. right and yeah. so i'm not going to be surprised if they be like no you got to watch the malayalam, malayalam version it's going to be so much better i'm like okay i'm curious i'm slightly curious but i don't know if i want to do a watch along because i might want to quit like 10 minutes in and if i feel like it's the same exact story Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to commit another three hours when I'm just like, I was. I think I got my fill. Sure, sure, You know sure. what I mean? The sequel is definitely setting itself apart because it's definitely exploring an actual supernatural element, which, to be fair, because, like, I know some people in the comments are like, oh, they're going actually supernatural now. That's stupid. And that sort of, sort of gave me a clue as to where this might be headed. Uh-huh. But... I'm like, where else can you go? Unless you just tell a completely different story, but you still know what's coming if it's not supernatural. True, true. Yeah, it's like, how do you make it different? I don't even know if this movie needed a remake, to be honest. You it know? doesn't. It was fine. And I'm sure just like songs, but you know, there's so many songs that are are remakes, and but you know, people are like, oh, the original is better. It's like, yeah, but you're gonna listen to the remake too now. And so, well, yeah, like, everybody's probably going to watch the remake just to be able to go rubbish. What nonsense, Bakwas, you know? Boggle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Exactly. Uh, anyway, you guys, hopefully, I feel bad because, like, this is one of those moments where I'm like, oh, I'm going to get shit in the comments just for not. Whatever. I'm being real with you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out. I apologize that my that I did not have a glowing opinion of the film. I still really appreciate the ideas, um, uh, Vigi Balan's acting, and Akshay Kumar as a person. So I think it's just maybe there's just a, a cultural disconnect as well. Like that you're just not really feeling the movie as much as the rest of you guys are. I mean, I know this movie was a huge film for a lot of people. It's like a massive part of their childhood and everything. And so there's definitely a sense of nostalgia tied into the film. Yeah, I, I can't watch Power Rangers anymore. So, <laughs> uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, please. All notifications and vote this up if you're watching this on Patreon. Thanks so much for supporting us here. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.